In this video, you'll learn the best ways to do keyword research to grow your SEO traffic for your SaaS business. So let's get started. Okay, so when you do your keyword research for your SaaS business, uh, the first thing you need to do is list out all of your seed keywords. Okay, so think of all the main words for your tool. So open up an Excel document and just start brainstorming. So let's say we have an email tool. Uh, some of our seed keywords would be email automation, email marketing platform, email marketing tool, autoresponder, and so on. Okay, so once you list out your main keywords, what you want to do is go to keywordseverywhere.com and this is a browser add-on that you can install for either Chrome or Firefox. So install Keywords Everywhere and now what we are going to do is Google all of our seed keywords. Okay, so for email automation, you'll see some very helpful data for this keyword. So if you look here, you can see the monthly search volume for email automation is 2,900 a month. Now on the right hand side, Keywords Everywhere gives you some very relevant data around your keyword in these widgets. So you can see the SEO difficulty score and other metrics for your seed keyword. You can see the trend data for this keyword. And over the past five years, it looks like it's been trending upwards. So this might be a good keyword for us to target on our website. You can see some additional widgets as well, like a list of related keywords. People also search for keywords and a long list of long tail keywords. Now, speaking of long tail keywords, what I want you to do now is to click on this button right here. Keywords everywhere will give us all the long tail terms that people are typing into Google and we can analyze this list and see which types of keywords we may want to target for our website. Now the next step is to copy this table and go to your Excel document and open up a new sheet and paste it. Okay, and then you, you are going to follow the same process for this one, this one, this one, and so on and create a new tab for all of your seed keywords. So you'll have all the long tail terms for each one of your main keywords. Looking at this table here, you can see the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, the trending percent, and all of the search volumes over the past 12 months. Now, when you analyze this list of keywords, I like to focus on a few things focus on search volume and relevancy, okay? So it's always nice to put more emphasis on the long tail terms that have good amount of search volume, but don't just focus on that. You also wanna focus on relevancy as well. So when you go through this list here, you can see email in marketing, that one has 18,000 searches, but email and marketing isn't too relevant for our email tool. So this might be a bad one for us, Email marketing lists, this one has 1,300. That has high search volume, but again, it's not relevant. But email marketing best practices, that one has 1,000 search volume, and I think that's relevant for our SaaS business. So we can highlight it green, and let's continue. Email marketing course, this one might be a good one. Now, when you go through this list, you'll get tons of insights into what people are looking for. It looks like people are looking to learn more about email marketing. So they are searching for courses. So maybe you can launch a course to attract people who are interested in learning more about email marketing, and then you can introduce your tool to that audience. Email automation software, this one has 480 searches. This one might be a good one to possibly add on one of our main pages of our website. As you go through this list, you also want to take note of what types of keywords these are. Okay, so you can bucket the keywords that you've highlighted by what funnel step you think someone searching for those keywords are in. So are they in top of the funnel, middle or bottom of the funnel? You also wanna bucket your keywords by content type. So Ask yourself, how do you plan on using these keywords? Are you going to write a blog post to target them? Are you going to target them on a services page, 
a category page, etc. So to put this into practice, what we want to do is add two more columns, one for funnel stage and another for content type. For email marketing best practices, this might be uh, middle of the funnel and we can create a blog post for this one. Email marketing course might be middle of funnel as well and we can create obviously a course. It can also be a long form guide. Email automation software. This one might be either top or middle of funnel and for content type we can possibly target this on a services page. So just follow the same process as you go through this list here. Aside from analyzing the keywords in Excel, you can also analyze the keywords within Keywords Everywhere. You can take a look at this chart here and see which keywords are relevant. A few other things I like to look into are the types of long tail keywords. So I like to look for your main keyword for blank. So this gives you some good ideas into what types of use cases you can potentially create a page around. So we are going to go to this search box and type in four. Okay. Now keywords everywhere will show us all the long tail terms that have this four in it. So email for marketing example, email marketing for beginners, email marketing for e-commerce. This one right here could be a good keyword that you can create a page around to target people who are in the e-commerce space. Email automation for small business. So you can create another page to target small business owners and just keep on going. Now I also like to focus on uh, comparisons as well. So I'm gonna type in VS and take a look. So let's see, email marketing versus CRM, email marketing versus newsletter, so on and so forth. You could also uh, pit your company against another product, okay? So you versus MailerLite, you versus active campaign and so on. So you can compare what you offer versus your competition. I also like to see what types of how to keywords people are searching for. So how to automate emails, how to automate email marketing and so on. So follow the same process for your additional seed keywords. So email marketing platform. This one has 3,600 searches a month. So more than email automation. So you're gonna click on this button right here and Keywords Everywhere will find all the long tail terms. It found close to 200 long tail keywords for email marketing platform. And we're gonna copy this and go here and paste it over here and follow that same analysis process for this list of keywords. Now going back to our four seed keywords, I wanna see which seed keyword is the one that has most search volume. So I'm gonna star uh, this seed keyword. I start this first one here. I'm gonna go to this one and star it. And then I'm also gonna star this last one. Okay, now I added this to my favorites list. So I'm gonna click on the Keywords Everywhere extension, click on my favorite keywords, and all the keywords that I've starred are listed here. Okay, so out of all of these seed keywords, which one has the most search volume? So it looks like email marketing platform has the most search volume. And looking at the average cost per click, it looks like a lot of people are bidding quite a bit of money to have their ads show up on Google, even for email marketing tool. So I'm going to copy this and go back to Excel and basically just paste it right here. So now we have the keyword level data for our seed keywords as well. So a good idea for us would possibly be to have email marketing platform be our main keyword. So we can potentially add this to our homepage versus autoresponder or email marketing tool. So I'm gonna highlight this and I'm going to add two more columns, one for funnel stage and content type. So this could be uh, top or middle of funnel and content type would be, you know, the homepage. 
So this is how you do keyword research for your SaaS business. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other tutorials, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.